All right, I'm going to take a video of my new uh, tester, the voltage tester. It's the same one that uh, home inspectors use. This one actually costs a little bit more because it has a flashlight. But that's not... Here's the wire I just did. Red light flashing means there's power on there. I just added this whole entire connector box to wire the two outside GFC outlets. And uh, I thought I'd show this. This is the wire that leads to the kitchen and the living room. Now, notice how the wire, you have to almost touch the wire to have electricity. You almost have to touch the wire. I mean, this is the whole entire electrical panel box. Now here's what's interesting with this old-fashioned tube wire. There is electricity all throughout the kitchen. And I'm not even close to the light. This is the ceiling, slowing down some. Here is the switch. This is the switch that runs that light we were just at. Turn it off. Still a little bit of power in this wall. Turn it back on. And now, I'm up above the door, there is power down here is where the switch was. So I disconnected the switch here, there's no power anymore. And I moved the switch over to here, but I selected a whole new power source. For this this power comes out of the basement correctly without that knob and tube lighting that's pretty standard and there's no switch here anymore but this whole wall you can come to this side there's electricity all throughout this wall. And here's something even more interesting. The living room ceiling is very much electrical everywhere in this living room there's electrical power I mean I can take it down almost 12 inches away from the ceiling before I mean, it starts detecting electricity the height of the fan blades and there's electricity in that ceiling all over. Even if I come over here away from that fan, the light. Now then they're here at the chimney, there's not much power. It's the chimney, which makes sense, it's brick. And then here's an electrical outlet here. 
to all this knob and tube. Tons of power all around. The wires aren't insulated very good. Have power that far away from the switch. And when you turn the switch to off, turn the switch back on. You got power all the way up to there, turn it off. You get through to the power here, but there's still some power in that wall. No electricity here in the living room. A few spots. And let's check this old, old, old push button. Got a lot of power all around here. I guess that's on and that's off. Come back to the center. I'm not sure. Does that do the outside? How does the outside light? That antique switch. But I just thought I'd show you how amazing that is. This outlet over here I found was uh, done correctly. I think it comes out of the basement. And that's like a normal outlet. Not until you actually touch. It won't even detect where the wire is all around it. I get a signal there. There's no electricity around that. Get over here, there's nothing nearby. There's all kinds of electrical power going on here. Totally amazing. There's nothing nearby here. You know, three or four feet. Tons of electricity in the wall. That is knob and tube lighting.